Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to take a look at how to add color to your object or color to parts of your object. Okay, very simple introduction to it so you can give your scene that you've worked on a little bit of life. So here we go. We got a cube. I'm going to add two more objects here. I'm going to add a mesh plane. Now a plane, which is right there, it's there right now. It's very small. I'm going to hit S to scale and I'm going to drag the mouse away. And that gives me a nice big ground. I'm going to right click my cube, move it up a bit. And I'm also going to add in the mesh for a cylinder. And let's drag it here, move it up a bit. And just so it's a little bit different, let's do a scale S, Z, and make it a little taller. Move it up. There we go. Now we are ready to go. So here's how you get basic colors onto your objects. First of all, we're going to slide this window to make it big enough that you can see all these icons here. Okay. Now, the icon we're going to be interested in is going to be this one here called Materials. Now, when you have the Materials open, there's actually quite a bit here. I'm just going to slide that a little bigger okay? because we're going to need a little more room. And this window is very sneaky. Okay. It scrolls down. But a lot of the time you want it to the top. So if it ever looks blank, make sure that your scroller is all the way to the top. You'll see what I mean later on when we're fiddling with it. Now, here we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give the cube a new color. Now you're going to see with the cube selected here, right? I've right clicked the cube. You're going to see here there's something called a material. Think of material like a piece of cloth. The cube is wrapped up in this piece of cloth that is plain, boring, light gray. What I can do is I can change that material by clicking on some of the stuff down here. And the main one that we're going to use today is just going to be this one here called the diffuse color. So if you click in the color window, and let's go for uh, some yellow. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe a little orange. There we go. I have now done that one the orange, and you can up the brightness or down the brightness with that slider. And basically, that material is now a yellow material. Okay, watch what happens when I go for the cone, or sorry, the cylinder. The cylinder has no material assigned to it right now. So let's assign him a new material to it and give it like a red color. So I can click the plus sign, which is add a material slot. And you'll notice that just added the slot. It didn't actually add the material, so now I'll finish off by going new. And there we go. We have another material here. Let's pick a color. And for this one, we'll pick some sort of red or purple color there. Looks good. And that one's done. Let's right click on the plane. Same sort of thing. Add a material slot. Add a new material. And let's make this one some sort of dark green. Okay, and there we go. So that's your basic coloring. You can go through your objects. You can color them if you want. Um, it's not too hard to uh, go through and just give an entire object a color. But of course, one of the things you're going to want to do uh, when you render this is, let's just do a quick render, which you've learned how to do, is you're going to want to learn to render this so that you don't have all yellow or all purple. How do you actually color individual faces? And that will eventually lead us towards also how do we like slap a picture onto a face. You know, so you can make a cube look like a brick building by slapping bricks on it. That's coming up in the future. What you should do now is you should go back. You should try to color some of the stuff in a model scene that you've already done and see how that goes for you, right? Watching the video is always easy. Make sure to do it a few times, right? So you get the hang of it. Thanks for watching. Next video, we'll color parts of the model.